Calm down, Italy, 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 Italy. They did their best. Shoddily, Italy, Italy, Italy. Gotta be nice. Hostility, Italy, Italy, Italy. Well, the town of Springfield, USA, is about to get a whole lot quieter. The man who does the voices for iconic Simpsons characters like Ned Flanders, Mr. Burns, and dozens of others is leaving the show. CBC's Yelena Adzik is here with more. So what's the story? Do you see these tears? Do you see these tears? <laughs> uh, yeah, the story is it all has to do with contract talks. There's a little bit of muddy, murky details here because he's saying through some tweets, this is Shearer, the person who voices more than 20 Simpsons characters, that it doesn't have to do with money. It's about the fact that he wants to work on other projects. There you get a look at him right there. He's done Spinal Tap. He's worked on many documentaries. And so that's what he's saying. But then the show execs are saying we never had a problem with you working on other contracts and you were given the same offer that all the others were given and they took it so you know they don't exactly agree with his assessment of the situation as far as the characters themselves yeah he's been a powerhouse with so many different beloved characters you're talking about the endlessly trip chipper Christian neighbor Ned Flanders you've got Bart's nemesis that's principal Skinner and of course mr. Burns he's one of my favorites he's this very you know aged older man that just really is very mean he's got a lot of money and he's very mean let's just put it that way i'm going to give you a little bit of a look right now we're going to take a trip down memory lane so that you can see some of shearer's voice characters wow, right now have a look double mint trying to double your fun eh bart well i'll double your detention i'm lenny this is carl and homer sir were those real bullets Yes. Was that a real gorilla? No. Would you say it's time for our viewers to crack each other's heads open and feast on the goo inside? Smithers, I'm beginning to think that Homer Simpson was not the brilliant tactician I thought he was. <laughs> Uh, I can't go any further, Susan, without sharing you with you my absolute favorite Mr. Burns quote. Uh, that's the wealthy meanie. He said, oh, Smithers, I'd give it all up for just a little bit more. <laughs> it's just for me, summarizes our whole Western way of life. It's, it's really pretty telling that this, this show, I mean, can it survive? Well, what happens to the characters? The show says it's going on, no problem, but what about the characters? Uh, yeah, they're saying that the characters, especially those beloved big ones that you know of, that they're going to be there and that they're going to find the finest voice talent to replace Shearer's voice. Now, if you think about it, in some ways that's very possible, right? Because they have some experts that are able to manipulate their voices. They probably could find somebody to do these voices and do them well. The catch here is that will the fans care and will they stick around because they've already proven that this past season for the first time ever we've seen a dip in ratings almost under 3 million. Now that's still pretty sizable you know it's not bad but for Simpsons that's going pretty low. So people have been talking about the possible demise of the show for a very long time so we've yet to see if the fans are really going to appreciate this and stick around. A lot of the tweets that they've been sending out are saying that this is so wrong and sheer we, we love you and we're sorry that this is happening to you. It's it's an interesting one. Do you ever do watch? Sometimes, but you know what keeps coming into my mind is what they tell us all the time in this business. We're all replaceable. Oh, Everybody's replaceable. Just gave me chills. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go now. <laughs>